This video shows the clinical signs of a particular virus disease of the double-crested cormorant, uh, a very abundant uh, fish-eating bird in uh, interior North America. The disease is caused by the virus avian paramyxovirus 1. The Canadian Cooperative Wildlife Health Center has been monitoring a large colony of double-crested cormorants and American white pelicans uh, nesting on a lake in the southern boreal forest of Saskatchewan. And this disease has occurred uh, in many, many years since 1994 when monitoring began. Uh, it's uh, a devastating disease, a sad disease uh, to, to witness in nature. Uh, nature is not always pretty. This is an affected bird at the end stage of the disease. It's very close to death. Uh, it is prostrate, it is breathing feebly, and it is completely unable to rise or respond to the presence of a person. Um, these birds are showing uh, uh, other, other typical signs. Uh, this bird probably has paralyzed legs and can't uh, uh, move and get away. It's also got abnormal head mo movements. The uh, bird here is lying on its back, uh, unable to right itself because its wings are paralyzed. Um, birds in this condition basically die in that position. Um, within a few hours, there's another one back in a, in a, in a nest. These are birds that are uh, young of the year. They hatched this year. They're about four to five weeks old. They're almost fully grown. They have their adult feathers. And this is the time uh, during that breeding cycle when they are uh, affected and we see epidemics of this disease move through a colony quite quickly. Here are more affected birds. Normally this beach would be covered by young of the year cormorants uh, that are now independent of their parents. They're feeding themselves and flying and diving, but they're staying on the island. And they've been um, all around these birds, but the cameraman has, of course, frightened them away. So they're several hundred meters out in the water watching. This, this bird is, again, uh, very close to death. Here is, here's another affected bird, as you, as you might find it, walking on this colony. Uh, there were about 270 birds on this colony affected in this way on the day of this visit, so it's, it's probably early in the epidemic. We might expect uh, uh, 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 to die eventually uh, over the next uh, week or two. Um, it's hard to predict. This bird is severely affected. Uh, it has a very abnormal standing position. Its weak wings are drooped. Uh, its head is on the sand and its beak thrust into the sand and it's not responding at all to the presence of, a, of the photographer.